everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use scenes in machine. Basically scenes are the way you can take your loops and patterns and turn them into something more developed like a full track. So to show this I'm going to do a quick demonstration I'm building a short little song up. So uh, I have three groups set up here. The first group is some drum samples. The second group um, some guitar from Helios Ray. third group some bass. You might not be able to hear it on a laptop, but um, it's there. It's some low sub bass. Um, so how I do this, uh, when I record, I usually record several variations for each for each group. So um, when I'm going to do my drums, I start with something pretty simple, just like a kick and a snare. And then as the patterns go up, they get more complicated and more like developed. So obviously I'm just going to start with the first pattern here. Um, set this to length 2. And I go over this in detail in um, one of my other tutorials. But um, so I start this pattern here, and I'm just going to record something pretty simple, some um, kick and snare, like an introduction drum pattern or whatever. All right, so I have that going. And the next thing I'm going to do is add some hi-hats to that. And um, you could just choose your second pattern and record from scratch, but it's a lot easier if you're just going to add to it. Um, hold down the pattern button, and then the duplicate button. Click the pattern you want to duplicate, and then the pattern you want to duplicate it to. So now on the second pattern, we have the exact same um, pattern as number one. And that's good, so we can start adding different stuff to it. So make sure on that second pattern, record a button, um, and I'm going to add some hi-hats over this. So you can see it's pretty easy to just take one solo pattern and keep adding things to it and develop it. Um, now I'm ready to move on to my guitar samples. So I'm going to head over to the guitar group and choose my first pattern. Um, and also when I do this, when I record, I keep all the patterns together. So if I'm going to record the first pattern in the guitar, uh, I will have the uh, first pattern of the drums playing in the background. So I'm going to head over back to the drum group, choose the uh, first pattern, and then go back over the guitars. And I'm ready to record my like introduction um, pattern for the guitar samples. So again, just uh, start recording. simple but um, you can apply it to different things that are more complicated um, anyways that's the uh, first pattern for the guitars and um, I'm not going to duplicate it because my uh, second pattern is going to be quite a bit different so I'm just going to choose a second pattern set the length to 2 and I'm going to start recording uh, some more complicated stuff said I'm going to go back to the drum group, select the second pattern, and then hear um, both pattern twos playing together. So that sounded pretty good, and I think I'm going to move on to the bass now. So head over to that. Uh, I'm just going to choose first pattern here, set it to the same length and record. Alright, so we got this sounded pretty good and you're ready to start arranging it. So this is all going to be done with this scene button up here. Now you can press it and you can see you're already selected on your first scene. So I'm going to use this to um, start the song this can be something pretty simple. So I'm going to head to my drum group and choose that first pattern recorded, the pretty basic one. 
and then I'm going to go to the guitar group and choose the pattern that matches number one. Now I don't want the bass playing anything, so what I'm going to do is um, hold the pattern button, and you could choose one of these ones that are empty, or you could just choose pattern one and the remove button, and now there's no um, no bass for this first scene. So you can see on this first scene, and at any time you can hit the restart button to hear this scene. So I'm going to do that right now. sound pretty good as like an introdu introduction. Um, now I'm going to go to the second scene and then select the second patterns that we recorded. So drum group, second pattern, guitar group, second pattern. And I'm not going to bring in the bass yet, just the drum and um, guitar right now. So we can hear how that sounds. <laughs> this doesn't play long enough you can either um, like make the patterns longer and rework them but I think it's easier just to hit the duplicate button up here and that'll just take your scene and copy it over and play it twice so exact same thing now I think I want to bring in the bass so what I'm gonna do is hold down the scene button and I'm gonna duplicate it once again and um, I'm going to go to the bass and then select the first pattern and this is just going to add the bass pattern to the um, the patterns that we already have going. Um, so now we can do the bass. So that sounded pretty good and at any time if you want to hear the full song just hit the scene button and then the all and then restart. you have all these patterns recorded you can start laying them out and getting it flowing pretty well so I think that about covers it again this was like a really basic example but um, apply it to more complicated things in your own stuff as always any questions I will answer them in email or in the comments and um, I really appreciate what <laughs> I really appreciate this port so um, take it easy and stay tuned for more stuff thanks